more modifications to my storm launchers after yesterday's run in the uh, in the uh, snow. And the reason is because I had a lot of trouble on the snow and water getting this thing to go straight. And uh, also going to add a little tail weight to it. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. First of all, I've taken and drawn a line back one inch from the uh, back of this first crossing and in center and absolutely parallel. And what I want to do is cut. I'm going to take and cut this with my utility knife. you cut this exactly straight on the bottom. Make sure you have a nice cut. Just like that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert these guitar picks. And uh, what I did was drill a hole in it so that when I put the glue on it, it's going to stick in here. So I'm going to stick this in first just to see. I just want a tiny amount sticking out, about a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to try that. So I'm going to take my amazing goop. This stuff is quite amazing. It's flexible. And I'm going to fill this little hole. And I'm going to put some of this on this. And now I'm going to stick that down in there. Just as before. So it just sticks up a little bit. And I got a little bit of a rough runner there now. That's the whole point. We've got some of the glue here on the side. Okay, that looks pretty good. Take my other guitar pick. Same thing, put a little in the hole. Thank you, Esteban, with the car pit. And I'm going to put that on the other side. Same thing. Straight in. Just so it sticks up enough to be as a little rudder. Smooth out that glue a little bit. It takes a couple hours to dry, however, I don't think they're going to go too far. Okay, that's the way it should look once you've got them on there, and uh, that way this thing will have a little better chance at going straight, since there's no real sure way of getting to go straight. Okay, now I'll show you what else I'm going to do. Okay, the next thing I'm going to attack here is the balance. After trying to apply this yesterday, I find that it's just uh, constantly doing this in the air. Uh, by the time you get it off the ground, you almost have to take off. I think better with full up elevator and just don't give it any elevator, let it take off on its own. But it's a little bit nose heavy to me uh, from my experience in model airplanes. So what I've done, you know, if you notice here, these are black dots that are supposed to be, according to the directions, the center of gravity. So I've made marks on the side and I'm going to stick in uh, just a finishing nail right here so that I have a little handle to hold on to it and uh, when you're balancing a model airplane they should be balanced just a little bit nose down but this thing just drops the minute it gets here so it's constant uh, wobble not uh, very impressed with that so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna experiment by adding a little bit of uh, tail weight and I have some detailers clay here actually and uh, uh, this stuff is pretty good for balancing an airplane so I have no idea I did cut off the horizontal fin and I'm gonna take a piece about this size and I'm actually gonna uh, this probably weighs maybe I don't know to tell you the truth I have to get my gram scale out but I'm just gonna stick this up in here and push that in there so it sticks good okay that's a little bit of tail weight so now I feel a little more confident that the, uh, even though when you tip forward it still goes that way, but I think it just needs to be a little more tail heavy. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. We're going to give this a try now and see uh, just how much those modifications make. I've got the Tanix Pack battery in it. 
which is working good. I found out that most of my problem with the, I thought was range, is not. The battery is shutting off. It's the safety factor built in. Not to the battery, but in the radio. So uh, it absolutely has to be charged, and you've got to fly it, you know, maybe one time when it's as cold as we're flying in five degree weather here in the snow. So uh, let's go see what it does. There's my modifications for today, folks. And uh, I can't wait to get out and try the old storm launcher again. Into this house we're born. Into this world we're thrown. I could talk with without a bone and act around a bone. Riders on the storm. Well, being this thing's not turning about to be as aerodynamic as the model airplanes I'm trying to fly, I've decided to add some wings. So here's what I did. I modified a uh, wing off of one of my uh, electric foamies, and uh, I drilled a hole here, just a small hole, one half inch back, one half inch from the top, and the wing is actually two and seven eighths from the back of this sponson sticking out. So I'm going to put uh, some of my amazing goop on here again and we're going to attach this wing to give this a little more stability and this is the way I'm going to do it. Just put that in there like this into the hole that I drilled and set that down like that and that's one side and I'm going to also put a, uh, a little uh, weight underneath it here in the back of the wing to uh, to prop this up to be the right uh, altitude for this to dry at and I'm going to do the other same to the other side okay I've put the wings on now to the storm launcher my uh, modification here I've given it a little anhedral as you see and uh, lined it up both sides uh, hopefully this will give it a little more stability um, it's not a very aerodynamic thing at all and it's really uh, kind of touchy for most uh, even experienced pilots. So uh, I'm trying to give it a little extra hand, a little extra help. And so this is what it looks like and let's hope this works. And uh, stay tuned folks. <laughs>